Hey kids! Today we are reading about this bear in green overalls whose name is Cordroy. So Cordroy wants a home and a friend more than anything else. So let's listen to his story. This is Cordroy by Dawn Freeman. Cordroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for someone to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things. But no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. See, there are so many shoppers in the store. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Cordroy's bright eyes. Oh, mummy, she said. There, look, there's the very bear. I have always wanted. So this girl is telling her mama that she, that's the bear that she's always wanted. Not today dear. Her mother sighed. I have spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. So the little girl wanted to take Cordroy home, but her mama refused. Cordroy watched sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I had lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I will go and see if I can find it. So now Cordroy wants to find his lost button. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Cordroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. So Cordroy climbed down from his shelf and began looking for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up it went. Could this be a mountain? He wondered. I think I have always wanted to climb a mountain. So Cordroy thought the escalator was a mountain. He had never seen one earlier. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace. Cordroy gasped. I guess I have always wanted to live in a palace. So Cordroy thought that the store had a palace inside. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I have always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large thick mattress. So Cordroy had never had a bed before. So he was very happy to see beds and mattresses. All at once he saw something small and round. Why here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. 
he yanked and pulled with both his paws until pop off came the button and off the mattress Godroy toppled bang into a tall floor lamp over it fell with a crash Godroy didn't know it but there was someone else awake in the store the night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above when he heard the crash and came dashing down the escalator now who in the world did that he exclaimed somebody must be hiding around here he flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all and there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover hello he said how did you get upstairs so godroy was not supposed to be on that floor the watchman tucked godroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls so godroy is back on his shelf godroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning and there looking at him with a wide warm smile was the same little girl he had seen only the day before i am lisa she said and you are going to be my very own bear last night i counted what i have saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home. So that's Lisa and Lisa is taking Cordroy home. Shall I put him in a box? The sales lady asked. Oh no, thank you. Lisa answered and she carried Cordroy home in her arms. So Lisa is taking Cordroy home. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Godroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers. Chair, chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed, just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know. I have always wanted a home. Lisa sat Cordroy down on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said. but you will be more comfortable with your shoulder straps fastened so lisa is fixing godroy's button now you must be a friend said godroy i have always wanted a friend me too said lisa and gave him a big hug Hope you like this. Bye.